Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, my name is Mr. Worm and I'm going to be showing you some redstone today and I hope that you guys are excited to learn. Um, today we're going to be building a three-way junction. Uh, Solar Mom has asked me to make a nice little video for her on how you make a junction and I've decided to do so. So we've got some uh, a platform here. The platform is uh, three tall. Okay, so one, two, three, as you can see. And, and the platform is only three tall, that way we can get underneath of it. So we're going to start by just throwing out some rails. Okay, and we don't really need a lot of powered rails, but I'm just going to do kind of a basic railway that I prefer. Okay, and the direction that you do this junction doesn't matter one bit. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and let's just cut all of this side off. Okay, so let's get rid of that. That way it's just a little bit easier for us to see. So the first thing we want to do is we want to identify where our center block is. This is going to be our main junction block. Okay, so we need to know where that block is. So I like to just dig down and make a little pillar there. Okay, and then you want to put a block next to it. Okay, um... It doesn't matter whether it's on the right or it's on the left, but just know that wherever this one is, you're going to have to run all the rest of your redstone. So I like to do it on the T side. Okay, so that would be uh, opposite of where everything else is traversing through. So this is we're going to call this our main thoroughfare. Okay, and this would be our branch here. So this is the main way we would get to a place and here is just a little junction for somebody to be able to pick whether they want to go that way or that way and we're going to do it in in all separate directions okay uh, so the next thing i do is i like to come back about two blocks uh, and i like to make a little drop down and it's usually about four blocks long okay so it's going to go down uh to uh, one block and then one block again and then up and it's going to look like that and those blocks are not needed okay and so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to repeat that same process on all four okay and those are unnecessary so that's what they should look like Okay, and let's go do the last one real quick. And like that. There we go. Okay, so we're, we've got them all done here. Okay, uh, and we're just going to do this one for right now. So the, we're going to start off by putting this block back and then adding a rail. Okay, and... Whenever we add a rail, it's going to turn in a direction. And that direction is an actual very specific rule called the East-West-North-South rule. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into depth explaining that because it's not really important. What's important that you note and that you figure out for yourself when doing this is whether the torch underneath you that's going to be under this block needs to be lit all the time or whether it needs to be off all the time. And you only turn it on when you want to. Okay, so we're going to start by uh, putting some powered rails in here. And I usually like to just fill this whole thing with powered rails. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to re repeat that process with, oh, excuse me, uh, with all of these. Okay, and what this allows is it allows for a little dip uh, for you when you're coming into the station. In fact, we we really need to add uh, one or two more blocks onto the end of these here, okay? Uh, because we have to have a detector rail, a minimum of two blocks out from each one of these. So this needs to come out just a little bit farther. Here we go. Okay, so, and then let's get some detector rails. All right. And we're going to put our detector rails on each side. Now, the detector rails aren't going to be used for all sides. But we want them simply so that we, if we need them, they're already there. So let's go ahead and let's set this to air. That way we can get rid of that. And let's do the same for this over here. Okay. 
There we go. And now we can see everything nice and clean. Okay. Uh, let's get some buttons because we're going to need some buttons. I, I prefer to use stone buttons because stone buttons uh, have a slightly shorter pulse. Okay. Um, you're going to want to put them on the second block in. So they're going to be parallel with that guy there. Okay. So remember, this is the I'm coming into the station. And that's the way you need to think about this. I'm coming into the station. These are going to be my selector buttons for whether I go straight or whether I turn. And they're going to be in roughly the same position for all three. Okay. So first off, we're going to just take a look at the direction that our rail is going. And in this case, we let's just say we don't want it going that way. We want it going, we want it facing the other direction. So what you do is you s spike a torch right there. Okay. And now that has changed the direction of our rail. And now you can see it goes this way. Okay. So we're going to pretend that this is um, home and that is like our mine shaft down that way. Okay, so when we come into this station, we just want to go straight when we hit the left button. Okay, well, the way that we do that is we use, we, uh, we leave a one air block gap, okay, and then we put a piece of quartz here and then a piece of redstone. And we're going to do this same process for every single one of these, okay, all the way around, okay. This way, the button, all it does right now is just powers the rail. That's it. That's all it does. It just powers the rail and sends us on our way. Well, in this instance, because the rail's already going the direction we want on the right-hand side, that one's done. But we don't need to do that side anymore. We just need to do this side. Okay, well, that's easy. Um, and then uh, what about this one? We're going to turn left anyway, so that one's done. And on this one over here, we wanted to go straight, and that one's done. So that's all done. So we only actually have to wire up three buttons. We don't have to worry about everything else. But what we do have to worry about is making sure that this rail turns off uh, when we come into the station. Okay. So that detector rail is going to send a signal uh, that is going to turn on or turn off uh, all of our, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, powered rails. Uh, another thing we need is we need detector rails on the inside of all of these. Okay, right here, right here, and right here. So that when you make a turn, it'll automatically power the next set of rails. When you're going through the station, that set of detector rails there is going to power that redstone and allow you to pass through. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and let's just wire up one of these to changing direction. So this guy right here, he needs, he needs to change direction. Um, but sadly for me, I've placed this in kind of a difficult to get to position because I would have to bring the redstone down over this way and then up and into this. Okay. If you find that you have uh, two of these sitting like that and it's going to be difficult for you, well, just move it. We, we, it doesn't have to be there. We, we can move it. That's fine. So we're just going to put our torch over here now. Okay. So now I'm just going to lay a, a line of blocks from here to here. And is that one going to turn? That one's not going to turn. Okay. This one is going to turn here. Okay. So let's, I'm sorry. I, I, I got carried away. <clears throat> so now in order for that to change... We want it to uh, go ahead and go straight into that block, right? Uh, whenever you do this, make sure that you add a repeater, okay? That way you can tick it out. And I prefer to tick these out either two or three ticks. That's what I found works best. Okay, so if I turn right, there it goes. It changes, no problem. Uh, however, it's no longer lighting up uh, my rail. Okay, so that's a problem. So we need to make sure that it lights up our rail, and one of the best ways to do that is just make this go down a block. Just like that. Uh, actually, that's not going to work. Uh, I'm sorry, correction. We need to make it go out a block. Out a block. Here we go. So let's just grab a piece of quartz. 
and we can make you go out of block now. There we go. And that'll turn on. Okay. It's a little sloppy, and there's a lot easier ways to do it, but it works. Okay. So now it powers the rail, and it changes my position. So no problem. GG. Good there. Good to go. Okay. All right. Um, another way to do it, if you don't like that idea, uh, is you can put a solid block here, and you can tap off of it with a repeater on this side. And this looks a little cleaner. Oh, excuse me. This looks a little cleaner, because now you can get rid of those, those blocks. Okay, so that'll still power the rail, and that'll still change my position. Oh, I need to tick this out to three. There we go. Okay, that looks better. I wasn't, I wasn't happy with the first one, so this is a little cleaner. Okay, so on this one, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, uh, we need it to turn when we go this way, right? When we, when we want to come through the station here, we need that uh, to flip and take us to the right. So here, we're just going to bring it over this way. Actually, we could go, we could go straight into this line. That'd be fine. Okay. Uh, actually, that redstone's going to pick it up, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is indeed. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn and go around the back. Here, like this. Okay. And let me get around to the other side. Okay, and put my repeater in and tick it out to three. Okay, and so it still just goes in. It powers this block. It inverts that torch. The, uh, <clears throat> the track is going to change. And there we go. Okay. Nice and simple. Okay, and now we just have to wire up the third one. And then when we're done with that, we're not done yet. We still have to wire in an active delay. Well, why do we have to do that, you ask? Well, it's not really 100% necessary, to be honest. Okay. Uh, it's just kind of a nice thing to have. So, in this case, I have uh, a very nice little section that's already got uh, redstone on it. So we're just going to actually tie into the, the same one uh, that was on our left. So now we're just tying in there, and you can see the track switches. Good. Okay, excellent. Powers up the rail, switches. Powers up the rail and switches. And finally, powers up the rail and switches. Okay, that's all easy peasy. Next, we are going to have to create a delay timer. Okay, and this is going to be a feedback delay timer. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find out exactly where this rail is. Okay, we want to come down one space underneath of it and place some redstone. Okay, because when that cart goes over top of that, it's going to, it's going to stop. Right. Uh, and another good way to do this, by the way, is to just leave these on all the time. Okay, just by like throwing a torch underneath each one. Okay. Because if you do that, then you can invert that torch. Actually, I need to do it like this. That's better. Okay. So I'm only I'm just going to do this one for now. Okay, that way I don't get anybody too confused here. Because when you come into the station, these rails are going to turn off. And they're going to turn off because of this detector rail here. Okay. So the way it's going to work is we're going to bring our redstone down. We're going to get some comparators. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get some comparators. Okay. And we're going to put three in a line and then three back. Uh, you know what? Let's put the three back going this way. It's okay if there's a gap. And then we're going to tie them all together like that. And I'm actually not sure if that's going to work. I think we have to go out one more. Let's, let's try like that and something like this. Okay. So now when we... This, by the way, is a pulse extender. Okay. Um, so now when we come into the station, we're going to drop a card on here real quick just so that we can make sure it works. Okay. Uh, another way to do it just to check it is just to throw a pulse on the side of it. And you can see how long it takes before it'll turn back on. So when I do that, you'll notice the rail goes off and then after a few seconds goes back on. That's a little too short for me. So let's go ahead and let's just, let's make this a little bit longer. Okay. 
Uh, let's add two more, just just in case you know people are reading signs, they're not paying attention, they're not really sure what's going on. Okay, that gives them enough time to judge and look around and see what they want to do, and then after a moment, the rail turns back on. So here's the purpose of this. The purpose of this is that if somebody has made the decision. I already know where all these rail switches go, and I know that if I go AFK, I'll eventually get to my destination. Well, then they don't really need even to be here. They can actually just stand up, walk away, and then after a few moments, they'll come back and they'll find that they're at their destination because they wanted to take a right here anyway. Okay, so this is kind of what we want to build. Okay. Uh, are there easier ways to build it? Sure. Are there prettier ways to build it? Absolutely. But this is amateur level. Therefore, we want to make it just very obvious for people how to do it. Okay. And now we're just going to rinse, repeat the same thing over on the other two. Okay. So we're going to come put some redstone. We're going to go down one. Uh, I believe we have a repeater here. Okay. And we bring our redstone out here. And then we have our four comparators, and then four going in the opposite direction. And then we have our redstone like that. And let's check it uh, with a button here. Okay. And I need to hook it in, obviously. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be real nice if we hook it in. Because what's important is that rail shuts off immediately. Okay, that rail has to go off. Otherwise, you're just going to rail uh, run right through the station. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do our last one here. And I'm just going to knock a block out right there, just so I've got kind of a, a nice little place to visually see what's going on here. Uh, and on this one, we want our torch on the underside over here, like this. Okay. And then we're going to bring our redstone down. And then it's going to come over, and then it's going to have a repeater here. And then we are going to have one, two, three, four comparators. And then we're going to go back the other way. One, two, three, four comparators. And we're going to check it, make sure that it goes off. It stays off for a good period of time. And there we go. That looks real good. Okay, excellent. So now... We want to double check everything else because we've added more redstone to the system. Okay. And I know you're like, well, what is the purpose of these then if this is going to be on all the time? Well, you'll understand here in just a moment. So let's, let's have a little fun here. Let's run a little test. Okay. So we're going to just extend this out a little bit. Uh, and let's go get some cart, some rail. Okay, and we're going to make uh, this over here our destination for one or the other. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm going to power this last one just so that way we can test these nice and quickly. Um, there we go, like that. And then we're going to put one up here, like this. So what's going to happen is I'm going to run into one, and then it's immediately going to turn around and spit me in the other direction. All right. So that's it. This is just going to be a round robin for me, real, real fast, just testing timings. Okay, so I need to get down in this cart quick. There we go. So we come over, press the right button, go to the right. We stop. We're going to wait this time. Let me turn my volume off for a second here. And we go again. We come back. We stop. Let's go to the right this time. We go to the right just fine. We come back. We stop. We want to go to the right this time. All good. And we're going to go that way again just so that way we can check uh, going to the left. There we go. Going to the left. Uh, why did that change positions? That shouldn't have changed positions? It did change positions. So we've got something wired incorrectly here. Okay. So, why, why did that change positions, actually?
Is it somehow back feeding with the torch? No. Why did it turn to the left? I have no idea. Try it again. Go to the left. Again, it changed. It changed location. Hmm. Ah, that's why. Because my detector rail runs underneath of it. Okay. All right. So I needed to drop my, my redstone here one space. That way my detector rail didn't run into it. There we go. And now we go back again. We go to the left. We go straight. And all good here. Everything looks like it's working fantastically. Okay, excellent. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, uh, please mash that like button for me. Uh, and if you really like the video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.